Hey guys, 7WWE Rocks here. Before I get into today's topic of the video, uh, I did in the Christmas present video, just showing you guys all the stuff I got. And uh, Evan Airborne 100, I believe is his account name. If it's not, please comment on this video saying I got it wrong and check out his channel because during the video, you know, I did a Google Hangout so you can comment while I'm recording the video. And he wanted me to give him a shout out, and I just I don't look at the comments when I do Google Hangouts. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to give him a shout-out right now. Evan Airborne 100. Go check out his channel. He had a uh, similar video to mine, and he showed up a lot of cool stuff, like shirts, really old PWG DVDs that just look freaking awesome, Ring of Honor DVDs. And, uh, yeah, there's a shout-out. And I uh, don't know if it's going to do much. You know, my channel's not really huge. But, yeah, also want to thank you guys so much on the support of uh, the Christmas presents video. I just... 13 likes, which is, uh, you know, it doesn't sound that great, but for me, it's really good, and I'm really happy that a lot of people liked it, a lot of people were commenting and stuff, and uh, it was a really successful video, so thank you guys so much, and uh, I really hope you enjoy the video, but let's get to today's topic of the video. On January 19, 2015, uh, the Twitter account for them is IG colon Beyond Wrestling, I believe it is, and they're doing an event, 12 independent companies. Three hours, it will be the exact time, the running time for Raw, so it'll be, you know, versing Raw, I guess, and it'll be on their YouTube account as a live event, but it's going to be the best independent matches from those 12 companies, just doing a three-hour show, just so you can get on YouTube and watch Raw. It first was called hashtag boycott Raw, but now it's been changed to hashtag Raw alternative, like Raw alternative, and I really love the idea. Somebody asked me about it. One of my thoughts were on it. I love the idea. I think it's great. I think they're doing it for the right reasons. A wrestler that's going to be a part of it. Uh, it's not like a live event, but it's going to be, you know, matches of 2014. But one of the guys said, you know, it's not to bash Raw and say all oh, Raw sucks and all this stuff. It's to get them to change. It's like, it's they're, if they're trying to be like, I guess, WCW, how it was that WCW, WCW was such a great force. WWE had to change. And I think that's that's what they're doing. So I really like the idea. They're doing it for the right reasons, I think. I think the WWE 2015 really needs change. I was going to make a predictions video for 2015 yesterday. Just didn't get it. Wasn't able to. And, but one of my predictions, one of the main ones I wanted to say was bold prediction. But 2015, WWE is going to change. Something about it is going to change. You know, with Ring of Honor trying to be its own company now. Uh, you know, TNA, New Japan Pro Wrestling, Global Force Wrestling. With that, you know, really happening right now, Lucha Underground, I forgot that, all that happening right now, I think WWE needs to think, okay, we're, you know, not putting on the best shows we should be, and, you know, change it, make it better, give us the fans what we want, you know, a lot of the fans don't want Roman Reigns, and I've been hearing quotes that the WWE's looking to have Roman Reigns break CM Punk's uh, longest reigning modern, modern day WWE champion reign, really hate that idea. And I hate the fact that they're molding Roman Reigns, getting guys, building guys up like Brock and Big Show just so Reigns can knock them down soon. Really don't like this idea. I think you should have multiple stars with Cesaro, Tyson Kidd, um, Dean Ambrose, Dolph Ziggler, Luke Harper, Bray Wyatt. You know, there's so many people, and they're just molding one guy, which I think is really stupid of them. But, you know, that's just me. And uh, I really do hate the fact that Raw's three hours. I think it gets so boring. You know, you always have the guys like Ziggler, Harper, Ambrose, when they Seth Rollins. When they go out, you know, you know, and okay, this is gonna be really good. But it's like thirty minutes of the three-hour show. No one wants to, you know, just wasting their time watching random six-man matches with that New Day and the Usos and Gold Dust Brothers. And uh, but yeah, I think WWE 2015 needs change. NXT. I am sick of seeing. Talent guys, you know, really, really good talent come finally come to the main roster, which is why I'm worried about Zayn, I'm worried about Neville, I'm worried about Owens. When they finally do come to the main roster after all this, you know, we love them in NXT. They get some dumb gimmick and they get brought into Raw doing some stupid thing. Adam Rose has been screwed. You know, Biggie hasn't done anything. You know, really the only guy, the good, I don't even know, like, Bo Dallas, Bo Dallas got screwed. He, he's done nothing. I mean, the Shield, you can fight for, but it was FCW then. It wasn't really NXT. But uh, I'm just really worried about it. I, you know, I think Triple H is doing an awesome job in NXT, but when they finally get to the main roster, it's like they're doing nothing. WDB needs change in 2015. Please let me know what you guys think about this. Comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe. I like this stuff. 
Follow me on Twitter at 7 WWE Rocks. I'm going to try to watch a full episode of Raw and that Raw 20 uh, set I showed you guys a few episodes ago. I'm going to try to watch that tonight. Or we're going to watch some DVDs I got for Christmas. But thank you for watching. And uh, sorry, not the most interesting video, but uh, I do still appreciate you guys watching. So thank you guys. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.